Bengals and the Chiefs, man. Bengals and the Chiefs. What a game. What a game. What a game. Dom, what did you think about how Patrick Mahomes fared on one leg against that Bengals defense, that Bengals team that he struggled so mightily against for these past two years? Yeah, Mahomes, I mean, outside the one turnover where he fumbled the ball backwards, Lane Philly, for the most part, he was turnover free. Um, you know, they at, at first they were only able to scrounge up a couple, couple field goals while the Bengals weren't really able to move the ball at all in the first quarter. Right. And then you know, in the second quarter, some, some stuff started happening and they wound up scoring a touchdown. Um, the Bengals had. Joe Burrow threw a pick, but then it didn't translate to too much, and then the Bengals were able to get a field goal. So you feel me? Man, they were still under the game. It was a, it was a close game for the pretty much majority of the game, opposite of the other one. <laughs> so you feel me? But down the stretch, there were a couple situations where there were some shaky. It looked like there was some shaky uh, play calling. Well, not play calling, but referee work out there that a lot of people are out there complaining about. So, I mean, oh, yeah. How about you just redo this third and nine three times? Well, that is we're going to reset this. We're basically having a do-over here, guys. We're going to have a third down play do-over. Zach Taylor can't believe it because this certainly didn't seem any indication, just eyeballing it here, that there was anything other than a play in action. Second time today, the crowd noise. Well, they said apparently, <laughs> uh, they said apparently and they, uh, it was like a clock management thing. Like, they had stopped the play, actually, but, like, it was so loud that nobody heard it. But, they, but, they, they, but they stopped the play. They actually, they actually stopped it to, like, reset let's, the clock or something. Let's pause back. Let's pause back because you're missing something. They stopped the play to say that there's 10 seconds on the play clock, and then they wound it. And then they wanted to stop it again after the play started. That's what actually happened. They stopped it, reset the clock, called it, and were like, eh, nah, we stopped it again. That makes no sense. Yeah. That makes no sense. <laughs> it made no sense. And then on that play where, um, what's it called? On the final play where Mahomes scrambled and then got hit out of bounds, there was actually some holes there that were un that were uncalled for. Oh, a few of the Bengals players got hold, got held. They were mad as shit about it. Obviously, aside, you know, he hit Mahomes while he was out of bounds. But, like, there were a couple plays where Joe Burrow also got hit late, and they just, like, kind of were like, all right. <laughs> they didn't even call it. You can see Joe Burrow, like, yo, what the fuck? Like, shit. But, you know. But still, he, but still, he threw the ball, and then he got hit after. That's just the rule of the sport. He can flop all he wants. You're not allowed to hit the quarterback after they throw the ball. So you feel me? I mean, a lot of people out there complain about the refs and think that the Bengals got cheated. But, you know, obviously. I don't think they got cheated. The, me either. But uh, after the, uh, what's it called? After the, the, the unnecessary roughness, then, you know, he yeah. field goal and the Chiefs events. So, I can't say you got cheated with you. Your that play, play cost me game. <laughs> I mean, you, you literally you can't say that. And even before that, you have the punt return that led to it. That was really bad. Like, let him get 20 yards in a punt return. Why would you kick it in the middle of the field? Yeah. And, the, and, and Mahomes the entire time, by the way, was trying to bail them out. Like, even after that, he threw it in bounds, like a yard, they got three, said to blow their last time out. They were using all the time. Classic Andy Reid clock management stuff. But they burnt two timeouts early in the second half. Which, I'll, I'll, even as it's happening, I was like, they might need those. Um, but one thing I will say about the Chiefs, Chris Jones came up big. That what? Chris Jones, he play. he's an absolute guy. That shit looks crazy. I didn't yeah. think he was going to be like that. He went Aaron Donald mode. Yeah, Chris Jones is a get, bro. But that's at the same at the Butler same time, was... like that's what he was supposed to do. Barrow was out was was out three of his, you know, starting old linemen, 
And, and honestly, everybody knew that shit coming in, and they still was picking him to win. So there's no use in trying to use that as an excuse now. Like, Who the fuck is everybody? Bro, whoever, everybody that picked the Bengals. Everybody that picked the Bengals to win. No, not me. Don't say everybody shit. I knew what time it was. Everybody who anyway, picked Darnell, the Bengals. Right? Thoughts, I'll get to my gloating in a minute. Darnell, what, what were your uh, thoughts on this one? Oh, yeah. Before before you go on your, on your uh, little victory <laughs> laps, <laughs> let me just say, who was the one who said, even on a bad ankle, Patrick Mahomes is probably still the best quarterback in the NFL? And my my, my guess, my back. guess is my guess is Darnell. You <laughs> pick him to win the game. Hey, it don't matter. I picked him to lose, but it don't matter. Oh, oh so you pick? You had Mahomes going crazy, but losing? I didn't know who to pick. I just knew if I picked who Demetrius picked, then he would have more wins than me. And <laughs> yeah, so you you I said, I you was going game. you was going with your heart, not your head. It happens. It wasn't my heart because I ain't got no heart for the for the Bengals. I don't like it like that. But your heart for for Meech losing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I don't give a fuck about these motherfuckers. I just want this. I just want to have my voice this man. Because <laughs> I knew I was gonna have to sit here and listen to this victory lap. That's coming next. You just made the victory lap wider. That's all y'all care. I mean, Meach honestly got lucky because if Josh Allen was there, it would have been a different story. Oh, See, that's who I picked. I picked Josh Allen to, uh, to beat Bengals and go to the Super Bowl. But yeah, mistake number one. But it had it had a, it had it just had the snow, right? It, just had See, snow. it was all the snow, man. I thought it was it was in Buffalo. All snow oh, work, bro. Man, he crazy. Should've, he should have been away. To, he should have lost a couple more games. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, no, because he, he was uh Yeah, then he could have gone to Cincinnati or Kansas City. It would have been cold anywhere. <laughs> He's the biggest guy. It's supposed to be easier for him to throw in the snow. It would, I'm not even on It's not about throwing. It's about running the ball, which he, he's himself. leading his team with 30 yards. That's, while, Joe well, Mix, man, while Joe Mixon, who had a total of – Ooh, wow. He had a total of 17 yards. And this yeah, the Bengals did ran for 100 and, 107 yards in the previous game. So when you got All right, to... we'll get to your Josh Allen thing later. But the biggest thing I think right now with the Bengals this game, and they had the propensity to do this, and I kind of pointed it out early in the season. I didn't know they were just going to do it now. Kind of dumb timing to do it. But they only ran it 13 times with the running backs. Like Joe Burrow had four rushes. We have 41 passes. One thing I talk about a lot is you can't use the QB too much. Joe Burrow is great as he is. This game was never wider than a seven-point margin. Say use him 45 times behind this shitty offensive line against Chris Jones is a little bit like you think that I don't know what you think, actually. And it's like they just didn't do what got them there, which is running the ball. Um, at least stank balance. I'll put it like that. And they just, they almost, like, were watching the Chiefs just throw the ball. They're like, we can just throw the ball too. And it, it was weird because they're kind of a, they're a balanced team, but they have better running backs, and they just got their running the ball. So I don't know why they did that. Um, but... Is it, be, is it because Patrick Mahomes put pressures on this on these teams? Because why is it that Absolutely. you have the Jags and you have the Chiefs, I mean the Bengals, both teams that run the ball extremely well, they just don't run the ball. The Jags, is, the Jags is an even bigger culprit because they actually ran it efficiently. They just only ran it 17 times, just the same amount of times that the Bengals ran it for. And both were – Closed game, so it really honestly don't make any sense to me. What, it makes what, no sense. You know what you won't see is us not do that shit. No, nah, the Bears going to be the complete opposite, and that's why they're going to be the Super Bowl champions, bro. We're going to be talking about 30 to 40 carries in that game, all bird style, all RPOs, all making defensive players hesitate. Like Chris, that Chris Jones going to get taken right out the game. Now, so you see 15 rushes. Nah. Yeah, it's about game flow. Like, nah. Nah. I think, yeah, if uh, Mahomes get, if he get ahead early and then they got to abandon the run, 
then I think <clears throat> it can be a wild card, and you don't know what can happen then. But if it go mm-hmm. the Eagles' way, then yeah, I think that's the way they want to go. Well, let's play on this game because we we can talk about that. I I don't for uh, th- th- just with this though. Um, obviously Mahomes played great, one leg, everything like that. One thing I did see, I guess, is that it it was interesting. It was like, how do you put it? The one leg it throw, all that scaling was great. And then, yeah, for some reason, even though he won the game, every time he plays this team, he has like one play where he just collapses, just full out, just like, and that fumble was so fumble? Cool. Yeah. It was really bad. Really bad. I'm just like, oh, because you know, I'm just thinking I'm about to get this pick right, and I'm like, do 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 do, and then he just fumbles it, and then the whole game just flips. Um, yeah. And if it goes to overtime, who knows what the fuck happens? Yeah. Um, I think I will say, Pacheco, my guy. <laughs> they need to play him. Pacheco, <laughs> Pacheco's your guy. Shout out Rutgers. Yeah. Been, been saying this since. Uh, been saying this since early in the season. Whenever they use them, they win. Never heard. You, never, never heard you say this. Sorry. You never. You haven't talked to me enough. <laughs> Sorry. Crazy. Every time we hoop, never heard Pacheco out your mouth. When we play a bad, game, I never heard you talk about Pacheco. <laughs> <laughs> never heard it. Never heard this nigga say Pacheco out his mouth one time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> If we're going to be honest about it, it's tough. But you know how we say it's tough to beat a good team three times. It's tough to beat the Chiefs fucking four straight times. And on top of that, you can see it. Big dogs at AFC, Burrowhead, they start sniffing themselves. I felt the same thing, too. Yeah. It was obvious. It was like, yeah. all right, well, you yeah. can't, you can't a lot of talking. all of that. What's up? What did you say? I said, yeah, it was a lot of talking. Yeah, not it can't see the problem is everybody wanted to be Eli Apple, but only Eli Apple can be Eli Apple in the works. <laughs> I don't think it was even Mike. I think it was Mike Hill that said Burrowhead. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm saying Eli Apple, the only oh, yeah. one that can do it because it's only Eli Apple is just made for this. <laughs> but now everybody else want to be Eli Apple. Now you all doing the most. You can't. You know it's bad Apple. when everybody want to be Eli Apple. You already lost. <laughs> you already fucking lost, bro. But <laughs> well, what did you what, what did you, what did you think about? But you know, Joe Burrow did have a chance to get ahead and win the game. He had two minutes and thirty seconds left. He had over two minutes left in the game, bro. It's hard to throw the ball off your back, man. It's just like, just a fact. That I think was that last drive the one where Chase got hit in the helmet on the pass. That was that drive, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, what does that even mean? He's throwing off his back. Just like you saying, he's getting sat too much. Yeah, Chris Jones is on his ass, and they started putting late in the game. They started putting Chris Jones at the end, and that's what really fucked up everything. At least when he's at but the game is but the though. game is tied though. You don't gotta throw it every single play. Mm, they, okay, I agree with that. I, they were just doing it the whole game. I don't know. The Bengals do this sometimes. They just do it. It's it's they all get stuck in the allure of Joe Burrow even more to me. Yeah, you know, that, and that offensive they, line needs some work, man. And they had and they had the world convinced everyone but me because one thing I never said. Uh-huh. I never said Patrick Mahomes, I ain't never said that. And I, I just didn't think. Yeah, it, dude. it was like, no, I did not. <laughs> you were saying No, he wants to say a lie. You were saying But I did not say it. Man, you lying, lying on the stand, me. He was no, ready to say it. I ain't pick him to win the game either. He's so, keeping, he keeping it half a bean right now. I'm keeping it a full bean. I never want to say it. He keeping it no that. full beans. Because since the beginning of the season, I've had the Chiefs going to the Super Bowl, never switched up, not one fucking time. Not once. Not one time. Go play me. Come on now. That season is be. Oh, I'm saying, let's fuck it. That Joe Burrow shit. He's already put him there. 
but I didn't. You said you said Joe Burrow was MVP over Mahomes. I remember that for a little bit. But I didn't say at the end. Hurts was the MVP. Yo, Burrow was doing? never <laughs> in the lead for MVP at any point in the season. Hurts should have been the MVP. Uh, uh, I mean, you know what? You know what's crazy? This is this the first Super Bowl in a <clears> minute <throat> that we actually gonna have an MVP in it because they stopped giving it to Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> right. They kept giving it to Aaron Rodgers, and he kept missing the Super Bowl. So yeah, and John Harbaugh's gonna ruin this one. So. Speaking of Super Bowl, this is the first. All black quarterback Super Bowl we ever had. It's really uh, damn nice. Uh, That's well, tough. Bad battle of the light skins. Let's get it. Black. I guess the <laughs> <is> black. <laughs> Crazy. 